In today's video, we are going to be downloading fonts and then uploading them into Canva to use them. And then I'm also going to show you how to use uh, Creative Fabrica's Font Cloud so that you can use glyphs in your designs on Canva. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to type in the word Font Duo. I am in my Creative Fabrica account here. And I have an all access uh, account with Creative Fabrica. I'll have a link below for that. So any fonts that are on Creative Fabrica, I can use in my designing. So I found this one that I like. It's called Love Mama. So I am going to click on that. And so what font duos are is they come in with two different styles of fonts that go together very nicely. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this first. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to unzip it. So I'm going to extract all and I will save that to another location. So now that I have that downloaded, I am going to go to my Canva app and I am going to um, start a new Canva project. So I'm going to go to custom size here up in the right corner. And I'm going to click this 5,400 by 4,500 pixels because that's a really good size for like a t-shirt. Doesn't mean that I'm going to use this for a t-shirt, but it's a good size for a project. You can shrink it down as long as it's a PNG. So that's what I'm going to use for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the text app here and I'm going to click add a text box. And so um, I will write something in here. Um, I will write uh, favorite teacher just because I want something in here that we can add some glyphs to. Now, I don't want the Canva Sans. Canva Sans is what it came in at. That's the standard Canva text. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this drop down arrow and you can see down here, upload a font. So I'm going to upload a font. And it is the first part of that is called Mama Script, and the second part is called Love Display. Now, when you when I download it, it actually is going to have a JT in front of it, so it was actually hard for me to see it in the beginning when I was working on this. But I'm going to click Mama Script here and open, and it says, "Yep, up upload this file." So I'm going to upload it because, being I have a Creative Fabrica account, I can use this script. So now that came in and now I'm also going to do this again. I'm going to upload a font and I'm going to go to the love display and you want to use the OTF files, the open type font. So I'm going to click on that one and I am going to open it. Yes, I'm going to upload it. So now that's coming in here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to might make this two different words here. So I'll take teacher off of here and then I'll add a second text box and I'll write teacher down here so that I can do a couple different things here. So on this teacher one, I'm going to highlight it and then I'm going to go here and I am going to go to my uploaded fonts. And like I said, this one starts with a J T. So I'm going to go to here. So I have JT love and I have JT mama regular. So I think I want the word teacher with this mama regular. So I just hit that and it comes in. That's what I want. And then this one, I want uh, the love regular. So I'm going to highlight this one and see how that changed that word. So that is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to stretch this out so you can see it. So it's bigger here. I'm going to stretch out teacher here. Now you can see that came in and those two fonts look really good together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Creative Fabrica account. What's that? So we're going to go back in and we are going to go under tools here and we are going to go to font cloud. So I'm going to open font cloud, open it here. And now we're going to upload the files that we just put on our Canva account. And I'm gonna hit the open type mama script. 
And I'm going to install that. And then I am going to do the love, this love display, the same thing, open type font. And I'm going to upload that. And as you can see, they came in here, love display and mama script right here. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to click on the mama script. And now I'm going to go back to my Canva under favorite teacher. And I'm going to find the T in the beginning and the R at the end. So I'm going to go back here now and I'm going to look for the T. Close these two here into my font cloud here. So I'm going to go to the small T. It goes right here. So RST, and all you have to do is click on this and it saves it to your clipboard. So now I'm going to go back into Canva and I am going to remove this T and I'm going to hit control V to paste that in. Now we're going to do the same thing for the R, but now we want the R at the end. So here's the R at the end, O P Q R. So I click this and it saves it to the clipboard. And then I can come in here and I can add that glyph by backspacing and control V. Oops, control V. And there we have favorite teacher with the glyphs added on there. Now we can have some fun with color too. So we can go in here and we can highlight the word teacher and you can find your school color or if you know the number of uh, your color for your school, you can add that number in here, but I'll change this to blue. And let's go to favorite here, change this one here, change this one to a different color. You can just have some fun with it. You can pick the standard colors, or like I said, you can go in here and we'll kind of make this a, a brownish black color or you can do really any color that you want by moving it through here. So maybe I'll make this a darker blue. No, ick, nope, back that off. Um, so I'll just stick with black on favorite here. So then you can um, download this as a PNG and or as a cut file as well. But right now we will download it as a PNG. So you hit share and then download, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you have PNG picked. And because I have Canva Pro, I am able to use a transparent background that you want. And then we can download this file and we will be back and I will do some more. So now that we've downloaded this image, I'm just gonna add another page here. So I'm gonna click add page and I wanna show you a new feature that has come out on Canva. It is called Typecraft. And I have already got this set as one of my apps, but if you just go click this apps icon here, it will come up and you can just type here, um, Typecraft. Oops, if I can hit the right. Uh, the right keys here, and then you'll just hit type craft and then it'll come up. So now what you're going to do is you're going to change the text and we're going to add a text box. So here is the text that I'm going to use. My, my store on Etsy is called my cup overflows. So I'm just going to add this and then I'm going to change the font so you can pick whatever font you want here. I'm just doing this for fun to show you how this works. So I will pick something fun here. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh my, That's a lot of different. Oh, let's try this fabulous party. Here we go. So my cup overflows. Now what you can do is you can grab these dots and you can move them to whatever size that you want. Like you can move them, you can pull that one this way, this one that way. Um, change the font style if you want. Um, and as soon as you get it the way you want, then you can go in here, you can change the color of the border to whatever you want. Um, you can reset it. You can merely make it have some fun. I'm just going to do something like this. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to go back to this, uh, maybe change it a little bit. But uh, now all you have to do after you get this the way you want it is add element to design. I don't like this, but let's see. Maybe make it kind of look like the lip of a cup here. All right. 
Okay, and then just add the element to your design. So then it comes in and then you can do whatever you want with it. You can resize it, but it's already got the, uh, the change that you want. So again, that is called type craft. I have put links below for items that I've used in this video and also a link to my Etsy store. Thank you.